Our unusually warm weather is confusing a lot of us. Is it still winter or has spring already arrived for good? <laughs> you never know until you walk out the door. Arborists say it's also confusing for trees and can be harmful. Meteorologist Chris Reese live in St. Paul tonight to explain why. Chris. Kevin and Lindsay, this winter has been tough to navigate for a number of business. I mean, you think about it, and the ski slopes, they haven't had much snow. Our ice castles didn't have the cold, and the list of canceled events, well, it just keeps growing. On the other hand, some businesses have done well in the warm weather, at least up to a certain point. This is just unprecedented. In the past, it was snow removal. Last winter, uh, we, we were just stuck in trucks plowing snow. This year, it's the trees that have Matthew Ort's landscape business in bloom. We definitely got to more oak tree pruning this year than ever, which is nice. Up in the trees. Early on, the lack of snow and ice, but frozen ground, was perfect for getting ahead on tree work this winter. We did get some frost, so the ground was solid enough that we could run machinery on people's lawns and, and not cause collateral damage. But the past few weeks of warm temperatures have brought even that to a halt. Now you're going to end up leaving big ruts in the lawns, um, causing turf damage, and basically creating more work in the spring to have to go back and remedy. Damage to lawns aside, this mild weather has also brought other concerns. Now with trees budding out in the winter months and maybe going back to cold conditions here, uh, we could see those trees really face some, some issues. But also, the lack of cold makes it that much easier for the spread of emerald ash borers. We're seeing you know, more dead or dying ash trees than we've ever seen in, in our area. Ort says a snap of colder temperatures would help slow the damage from ash borers. It's anyone's guess, uh, you know, what to expect next. And that really makes it tough to plan and keep a schedule with our crews. And of course, since 2019, trees across Minnesota have faced all types of challenges from the extreme weather and that streak likely looks to continue as we go forward. The hope now is that we can get cold enough, fast enough to prevent budding. And as always, time is of the essence. Live in St. Paul, Chris Reese, 5 Eyewitness News. Chris, thank you.